This is uh, for Skywatcher and Slider and uh, all the other guys working on this Dr. Stifler um, um, latest group of projects that he's posting on YouTube. And I really appreciate the doctor uh, sharing uh, this stuff with it because not only does it uh, ask a lot of questions, but it makes people spin off in other directions that we hadn't been before. And Skywatcher is the one that um, took one of these filament bulbs. It's a 40 watt, I'm using a 40 watt, what they call a filament or ribbon LED bulb and ran it on a Slayer Exciter and got it to work. And I got one yesterday. And um, this is a Slayer Exciter. It's one of these mini Tesla coils. You, know, you can get them for under 10 bucks in a kit and build it up. And I highly recommend the guys do this because they're real strong. They run on 12 volts. They have a socket so you don't have to use batteries or anything. They're supposed to be a musical thing where you run a song through it, but they make a great Slayer exciter just like this for these experiments. And this was the bulb that I was using before, which is pretty darn good. But this thing here, this filament, I'm really impressed with that. And I'm running it capacitively. I'm coming off of the uh, secondary on the uh, mini Tesla coil, which is a Slayer exciter, driving it right through the glass. And it's going into this circuit and driving that. And you can see the indicator light is even on, which I, I find really interesting uh, that this is activated like that. But anyway, um, they had these at Lowe's, and they were on sale for under two bucks. And there's uh, a bunch of different kinds out there that these filament, 40 watt replacement, I think it uses four watts or something like that. You have to take it apart. There's a circuit inside that thing uh, down in here, and you have to use a heat gun or a hair dryer and carefully take the glass bulb off the base, and in there is a circuit board. It will not work unless you take that circuit board off. Uh, the glue was not hot glue like um, Skywatcher's bulb. Mine was looked like Gorilla Glue almost, but I was able to carefully take it apart, put an AV plug on it, and then it's just like a regular, uh, any other thing on a Slayer Exciter. But anyway, yeah, this this um, bulb was uh, really, really interesting to work with. If you run the voltage down on this, you can actually see all the little tiny LEDs uh, in, a, in a row on these ribbons. But uh, yeah... Um, Thanks uh, for everybody working on this project. The guys that are using the um, lab equipment, the oscilloscopes and stuff, that are really uh, replicating the doctor's work. Um, that's a whole other realm that I'm also working on. But this one with this uh, Slayer Exciter was a spin-off. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who's working on the project. Uh, we're all learning stuff. Thank you.